Hi, this is Jonathan Grossman from What's the Issue? And I'm really excited to talk to you today about the mechanics and how to do a multiple choice question. I say mechanics because a lot of people have these myths, bad habits, think everything is a trick, but people really, really don't have a mechanical, consistent way of reading a multiple choice question, no matter what the subject matter, so that when you get to the answer choices, you literally will know why A is the correct answer and why B, C, and D are not correct for that question. So today we're gonna to talk a lot about the common myths, as I call them, about how to do multiple choice, and then we'll talk about a legitimate three-step approach to do a multiple choice question, no matter what the subject matter is, whether they're short, long, no matter the topic, etc. And one of the mantras we'll talk a lot about today is, you wanna do every single question the same way. And too many people are doing different things depending on the length or the topic, etc. So we're gonna cut all of that out, talk about six or seven things that most people are doing, whether you're a first time taker or a repeat taker, just common mistakes that people make, and then go down and break down one, two, three, here's how you should be reading a multiple choice question.